Hi there. In this video, I'll show you how to consolidate data with SheetGo. The merge feature allows you to consolidate data from multiple spreadsheets into a single tab in another spreadsheet. This feature is very useful if you want to combine data from multiple sources into a master spreadsheet for analysis or reporting purposes. It saves you a lot of time because you'll only need to set up one connection. Not only will you be able to consolidate your data, but also update it automatically whenever you edit the source files. Keep in mind that all your source spreadsheets should have the same number of columns and a consistent header structure. You can consolidate data from each separate spreadsheet or you can consolidate data from a folder, merging the same tab from every spreadsheet in a folder. When you consolidate from a folder, you can upload new spreadsheets to the folder and SheetGo will automatically add these new files to your workflow. In this example, I'll merge data from two purchase order tracking spreadsheets. Without further ado, let's get started. First, I'll show you how to merge data from multiple sheets. I'll call my workflow purchase orders. Then I'll press create connection to select my source files. I want to import data from multiple sheets so I'll select multiple files. If your source files are in the same folder, select your spreadsheets and click done. I'll check the boxes to select the desired files, order request 1 and 2. Don't forget to select the desired tab. I'll choose the tab order request input. If you want to add more files, click add another source now. You can also enable this feature to transfer number formatting. I'll turn it on because I want to preserve number formatting. Under advanced settings, I'll click this button to add a new column and I'll select source file name. SheetGo will create a new column in the destination file to help you identify the source of data. Now press next step to select the data processor. I'll choose merge because I want to consolidate data from multiple sources. Now select which row you want to use as a header. I'll stick to the default option because my header is in the first row. I'll press next step to select my destination file. I'll select Google Sheets. I can ask SheetGo to create a new file or send the data to an existing file. I'll let SheetGo create a new file. I'll call this file purchase order requests. I'll name the tab order requests. I'll click finish and save now to create my workflow. My workflow is up and running. SheetGo has merged the data from my source files into a single spreadsheet. Now I'll show you how to merge data from all the files in a folder. The process is almost the same. After clicking create a connection, I'll choose my source file. But now I'll select files in a folder. Select the folder that contains your files. SheetGo will merge data from all the files in this folder. You can now choose to import data from every file in the folder or you can choose to only import data from the latest file added to the folder whenever the connection is updated. I'll keep the default option here and I'll choose my source tab, order request input. Now I'll repeat the same process I went through when I created the previous connection. I'll select a data processor in a destination file. Click finish and save to create your workflow. Now if you add more files to the folder, SheetGo will include data from these new files whenever the connection is updated. In order to update your connection, head over to the workflow view and press run. You can also schedule automatic updates by clicking the automate button. You can update your file based on a schedule, on a form submission or on a workflow run. I'll select based on a schedule. Now select how often you want automatic updates, multiple times a day, daily or monthly. Then click save. Your workflow will update the destination file automatically based on this schedule. That's how you can consolidate data with SheetGo. Check out our other videos, subscribe to our channel or visit SheetGo.com for more spreadsheet-based automation ideas. Thanks for watching and give us a thumbs up if you like the video.